Hello. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Yeah, I joined the gym. I haven't belonged to a gym in years at this point. I joined the gym because I've just been like off track with getting exercise. And I don't like that because I just feel so much better when I am exercising, but it's getting really hot here. I started off really like enjoying my workouts at home and then I hurt my back and that kind of took me out of it for a bit because I couldn't really do as much. Um, then I really got into like walking, like going on walks in my neighborhood. Um, and they're nice walks because my neighborhood is very hilly. So it's like a good workout, I feel. But now it's like 90 degrees in LA and it's probably gonna be that for the foreseeable future. Um, so I'm running out of options. So I was like, you know what, I'll join the gym. I can go there, lift some weights, do a class, whatever, or just walk on the treadmill, get a walk in, you know? You never get any attention online. And people think it's because they don't love you, but it's because you don't like being on camera, and I try to respect that, but right now you look so cute. And I need people to see how cute you are. Little angel. Yeah. You're a little sleepy angel. You're literally the cat. She like shows her belly and then, yeah. She's like the classic cat in that way. Wizard loves a belly rub, but maybe barely likes a pet. Like she's like, I want to live inside of your chest, but only look at me with your eyes. But right now she likes it. Oh, or not. Okay, so I need to put on deodorant because I don't want to stink up the place. But I've been using a new exciting product. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Wild. Look at this freaking deodorant. Okay? It has my name on it. Okay, so let me tell you why this is exciting. Aside from this packaging, which is limited edition, by the way. So Wild makes an eco-friendly deodorant because it's refillable. It's subscription-based, so it's really convenient. You never have to like go out and get your deodorant. It comes right to your door, and it comes like this. There's different scents, and they come in these little bamboo containers. To take it out, you make sure it's wound all the way down. Push these two buttons on the side, and then this pops out. And then this is a 100% compostable package and then you get your new one i'm just going to use the same one because i don't want to i want to finish this but you just pop it on like this the same way it came off pop this back down and then you can twist it up and apply the deodorant Ugh. it smells so good it smells like I love this cotton one. Um, and then you just put the cap on and this is your deodorant. And you can get it like customized to say your name or whatever you want it to say. Um, and then they have different cases you can pick from. This is their limited edition one. So I do have a promo code, which I'll list here. You get some money off. I'll also link it down below so you guys can check out Wild for yourself. So thanks so much, Wild, for sponsoring. I just got home. I just washed my face and popped blackheads and now my face is red hopefully it won't be tomorrow i'm gonna use my new face i've been trying to use it every night since i got it um the skin store sent this to me i've been wanting one of these for so long it's so fun and i feel like it's been making a difference if you don't know, it's a at-home microcurrent device, so it helps like tighten the skin and lift and all that jazz. I love it. It just feels like, oh, just feels like a nice massage. I don't really feel the tingling, like a tiny bit. Um, when I went 
to London, I went to the face gym and oh my god, they gave me the best facial and they did like a lot of microcurrent stuff and I swear I looked so good. And so I'm always trying to recreate that vibe. And I feel like this does it. The skin store gave me, me a coupon code for you guys too. If you guys wanted to get this tool or any of their other tools, um, uh, they have a great site. So here's the code. You get 25% off, um, which is a nice generous discount, I think. I'm just trying to do everything I can to avoid Botox right now. Um, I definitely want Botox, but I just don't think I need it yet. When I say need it, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Like, just little things. Like, I don't feel like I look old at all. There's just little things I'm noticing, like slight lines forming that I just want to prevent from getting any deeper. Um, and it's mainly on this side of my face because this is the side that I sleep on. So it definitely is creasing more over and over. And I'm noticing like, I'll wake up with like a one crow's foot, one crow's foot. And uh, I didn't want that. I saw this TikTok where this old woman was like, she like wrote a poem and she was reading it. And it was basically like, who is this woman I see in the mirror? She looks vaguely familiar and like all this really depressing shit. I like swiped away. I couldn't, I couldn't even continue to watch. It was horrifying because like, God, like the older I get, the faster time just flies by. You know, you just hear older people are always like, I blinked and then here I was. And I'm like, God, I don't want to look in the mirror and not recognize my face. I don't think there's anything wrong with aging. I just don't want to, personally. And so I feel like the best way to do that is to always just do little, little things over time, like a little bit of Botox over the years, maybe a little filler, microcurrent, sunscreen, skincare. Like I never wanna look like a real housewife. I just want to look fresh. And uh, yeah, that's my plan. Yeah, I got uh, some lip filler. God, at this point it was, oh, well over a year ago, year and a half, I guess. And it was fine. I just kind of wanted to try it. I liked it. I don't think there's really any left. There might be a tiny bit in my top lip, but I'm happy with them. Um, I was happy with them before. I kind of just felt a little greedy and was like, well, I like my lips. Well, what if I could like them even more, you know? But I don't like the like, I really like a natural look. I feel like, okay, here's my theory. We, People are either like for or against like Botox and fillers and like cosmetic procedures and things like that. And I feel like a lot of times people freak out. They're like, oh my God, don't get filler, don't do this. It looks crazy. And I feel like because there's a lot of bad noticeable fillers and things you see, but I guarantee you, if done well, there are people in your life that have fillers and you have no idea. I don't know. I'm just into that stuff, but I just don't know if I, it kind of freaks me out. It freaks me out, so. I just try and avoid it for as long as I can. Cause like getting filler is not fun. Like I, you guys see me freak out getting blood drawn. You guys see me freak out in the dentist. Like the f you think I'm gonna be just like sitting in the chair getting filler, just like la di da, please. I'm holding off for as long as I can because it's going to be a whole thing. There's something just so nice and narcissistic about a skincare routine and like a device like this. We just stare into the mirror like a Stepford wife as you like glide these two little prongs 
along your temple, just trying to look acceptable in the world. I like looking good because society told me I needed to, to have any worth. And so don't try and chastise me now for caring about my appearance, okay? That was your, your doing, okay? You did that, now deal with the repercussions. And the repercussions are me sitting here like this for an hour. Okay, I'm back in the literal same spot. I love how, I feel like I do that a lot in vlogs. I look like I'm like going to a business meeting. I got, I wanna put some makeup on because I got stuff from Sephora just on a whim. I was watching just like people do their makeup on TikTok and stuff. That always makes me wanna buy stuff. But I'm so excited. And you guys, I wanted to play with it with you guys and so i've had this for two days and it's just been sitting here and it's absolutely been killing me look i got the anastasia brow freeze this has been sold out forever oh my god it's so weird it's so i don't know but people rave about this i'm so excited i also got two makeup on mario's things um i wanted the hula the benefit hula stick but for some reason they discontinued it and i i'd only just realized it was a thing so i feel like i didn't even have a moment to like want it before they discontinued it um so i got this instead which is the soft sculpt shading or sorry shaping stick and i got it in the shade light which looks like this i don't know if it's gonna be like too warm for me it also comes with a brush on the other end which i never really like the built-in like i'm like just don't i don't know i guess it's convenient for like if it's on the go i'd rather just use my fingers to be honest but anyway i got that and i got one of his palettes which looked amazing i got it's the matte off this sticker look at this okay so my favorite eyeshadow palette to this day is the kylie cosmetics bronze palette but it's like seen better days the black completely crumbled all the colors are kind of mixed i still love it but does it does she still make the same way like what's going on with that whole makeup line i feel like it's like dying out so i wanted like a replacement for that and i felt like this is really nice. They're all mattes and they're all like neutrals. I feel like everything you would need for like a matte eye or like a smoky eye or like a liner. We'll try it out. And then I got four lip products. I'm such a lip product whore. Um, I got this Dior Lip Glow Oil in Mahogany. And it's because I saw a really pretty girl on TikTok use it. I'm gonna put on I'm gonna try on all the lip products when I do my makeup so that we can just see how they all look. Um, but this is like a sheer gloss. Well technically it's a lip oil, but it's basically a gloss. Um, but it has like you know a red berry tint. I got the new Kosas Sport Lip Fuel Color. One of my favorite neutral lip colors is their original Kosa Sport. They changed the packaging, which like honestly so much better love this color um but the shade pulse which they still have they just repackaged and it's this like really pretty neutral color and so they came out with a new one and i grabbed that this one's more of like a beige so i'll compare yeah but this i love this is like my favorite all right you know what? i'll just put this on real quick just to show you i've i've worn it for so long It's just like a neutral. And I'll just put this one on just for immediate comparison. And this is, did I say, this is the flow, flow. So on me, it's like more of a nude. But I love these lip balms, they're great. I also have the clear one. They're just really nice. Okay, then I got, oh shoot. 
I should go get it. Okay, I got this um, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what are they called? Tinted Love in Tripping on Love. And I got this because I got another Bohemian Kiss, which it's in my purse. Let me go grab it. Okay, um, it was in my purse because I wear it all the time. It's been like my go-to. So this is the Bohemian Kiss and it's a stain and look how good this is. Let me put you guys like more in front of the light. Okay. Isn't that pretty? So then I got another one because I love it so much. Like it completely dries down into just a stain. I, and I saw in my purse um, another product I got that I forgot about. I'm like a lip, I love lips and they're always subtle because I don't, I'm not like a lipstick person. Like I like things that are sheer or like a stain or like a balm or like a gloss. Like I love this like subtle like hint of something. I got this, I showed you guys a bit ago. Didn't I? Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. I got these like a month ago maybe. I got them at the same time that I got this. Did I not show you guys? Maybe I didn't. Anyway, I got these Bobbi Brown. What are they even called? I forget. They're like lip pops or something. They're like sheer. The packaging is really weird. You push this that comes out this end. Whatever. I got this one in the shade Papaya. i got to turn my mirror now. This is like the most color I'm used to having, but I thought it was like a nice summery option. And I also got Honey, which is, as you can guess, more of a honey color. Really pretty. Okay. It was really nice. I like that they don't have any flavor. I mean, I know I was like, I was gonna, oh, well, I guess I'll try. <laughs> Am I just trying on all the lips products now? Why not? Who cares? But then, um, anyway, so this is the other tinted, tinted love that I got because I love the other one so much. And this one's called Tripping on Love. And it's like a darker. Oh, these can also be cheek tints, by the way, but I haven't tried them that way. I don't, I don't think I'll use them for that. But isn't that so pretty? It kind of just looks like I ate a popsicle. I love that. Other lip product I got. All right, well, let me just show you the lip glow oil since we're already doing this. I tried this on. I tried all the lip products on because I know I said I was going to wait for you, but I can't wait for the lip stuff. I have to just try them on. I love this. So the girl who I was watching, I don't remember her handle or anything. I was just like watching a bunch of her videos because she's like so pretty. And she said that this is her favorite. And it looks really pretty by itself, but she was also like putting it over like, I just spit at you, I'm so sorry. It's so glossy and like thick. And she was putting it over like nude lipstick. And it looked really good because it just gave like a hint of rosiness because I don't like when something's so too nude. Should we try it? Should we like, all right, let's try it. All right, I'm just gonna use this Glossier Villa. No, this isn't, I mean, that's really pretty. I got some of the Glossier ones. We're just gonna play around, show you some things I've picked up like I was gonna make this into like a sit down like video, but I thought it would be more fun to just like vlog it because this feels like we're just like friends trying on like makeup and just kind of playing around with it. Like no real structure as you can see. This is really nice. I haven't played with these very much yet. They um, why don't they put the name of the pro- oh, Ultra Lip. <laughs> Never mind. Like this is exactly 
like my vibe um these types of lipsticks as you can see like the stains the glossy bombs this is really nice this is villa i was gonna this isn't a good candidate with with the gloss i think because it's like its own thing okay so i got a matte nude this is pat mcgrath 1995 lipstick it's like full like no i look dead but then let's try it with this over it <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay i don't think that was the right lipstick with it but anyway you get the idea i really like the gloss by itself though i think oh i got one more lip product Ilia balmy tint in lady look how pretty this is how pretty is this i love this love okay this is my you guys know what kind of colors i like oh i have some merit beauty stuff to play with here that they sent over um, so maybe I'll use that for like a base. Um, this is their, uh, Perfecting Complexion Stick in Silk. It's just kind of like a wherever you need it product. And this is the brush. I don't know. In the viewfinder, this is looking like ghostly on me, but in person it's not. It looks normal. I don't know if it's the lighting. Okay, I turned my ring the light down a little so that it's less harsh. Okay, concealer. What are we going to use? I've been really liking this Color Science Concealer. It's SPF and an eye cream and a concealer. Well, it's more of like a brightener it doesn't really have a ton of coverage but it just like really brightens and i'm loving it all right let's do the brows oh my god i'm so excited i'm gonna just like put the spoolie in here oh i don't really know how to use this i need to figure it out i've seen some people like put it on the back of their hand and then do it but it seems like a lot of work but you definitely don't need as much as I just used. Oh my god. This is like... <laughs> this is legit. Maybe. Holy. I thought this was going to be like honestly exactly like the NYX. But this is like brow lamin lamination. Like next level. Oh my god. Oh my god, I barely needed anything. This is gonna last forever. All right, let's see how that wears. Holy, I'm kind of shocked. That's not what I was expecting. My brows are so heavy. Like, it takes so much to get them to stick. And I'm like, I just, they feel immediately just like pressed to my skin. That was nuts. Okay, let's use the contour thing. It might be okay that it's kind of warm. Like I feel like it's too warm for a contour, but I don't really contour. Like I like to just kind of bronze. And so maybe it's okay that it's a little, I'm gonna just use the same Merit brush. Maybe it's okay that it's just a little warm because it's like a bronze instead. I don't know, let's see. That's nice. It's subtle. I feel like it blended in really easily. Why is it so freaking hot in here? That's nice. I like that. That was like nice and subtle. I don't like a lot, but I'm going to put more. <laughs> Perfect and subtle as I apply more. Maybe. What are we going to do for blush? This is like my go-to right now. Tower 28 
happy hour. And I'm back to putting things like kind of on the apples on my cheeks. I've realized I was doing like the TikTok thing, which now I kind of, did I mention this? I was doing like the TikTok trend of like up on the temple and now I kind of do a combination of both because I really like the lift it gives me, but I also, um, one day I like went back to just doing it like more on my apples and I was like, you know what? I feel like that looks best on me. So now I kind of do like a combination of two, the both, of the both. Eyebrows are kind of staying, but they're falling a little bit. Like they're feeling a bit more natural. Um, okay, eyes. The palette, what should we do? What should we do? Oh, they're not even, they don't even have names. They're just labeled like, labeled, labeled matte one through 12, which is convenient. I'm gonna use, I wanna do something subtle today. Shocker. I'm gonna take, this is a very interesting, this matte two. It's kind of like a taupey, like khaki color. I wanna see if this looks like all over the lid. I didn't use an eye primer. I feel like I used to have, I've always had like the oiliest eyelids and I feel like lately, they're not anymore which is scary because that means my body is drying up but um yeah i haven't really needed an eye primer that much lately which is sad but convenient all right now so that's like a nice base now let's do this four this one here which is like kind of just like a deeper version of that like in the crease. I like forget how to do makeup. She is at this freaking window instead of just coming around to the door. I can't let you in from the window. Yeah, I literally can't. Alright, now I'm gonna do this one here. It's like a camel y color. Maybe. Come around. I'm going to put a little bit of it under my eye. So many freaking animals making a ruckus. I like that, that's really subtle. I like that I can like go darker like if I want to. Like I can use it as liner, which is what I'm gonna do right now, or I can like smoke it out. I'm just gonna take an angled brush and take like the darkest brown. Hello? Hi, you made it. Say hello. Say hi, pretty. Okay. That looks nice and subtle. And I'm gonna use this Merit mascara because I really have been liking it. It's like, just gives like fluffy lashes, which is, exactly what I like not on the bottom every time I try and do bottom lashes I regret it I just don't like the way it looks okay so even though this look is pretty matte I do want to use this merit highlighter called bounce just cuz why not I think it's pretty subtle it's pretty A little bit on the nose. Cute. All right, which lipstick should we do? I feel like I'm leaning towards this one, Lady. Let's try it. This 
is it. All right. Let's go by the window. Oh, that's really bright. Okay. That's cute. I love this lipstick. That's cute. All right, I'm gonna show you my outfit because I, I think it's really cute. I, I do, I look like I'm going into the office or something. Like I'm like, I'm late for a meeting. Look at this top, Modern Citizen sent me this. It's like really asymmetrical. I love that I don't have to wear a bra with it. Like I could, but like, I don't have to, you know? Um, it's got this like weird neckline and like shoulder. It's like all asymmetrical. Not typically my style, but I'm kind of liking it. And then it has like this tie, so it like cinches. So it's like comes to the perfect length. And I'm just wearing my Amazon linen pants. Anyway, that's the look. That's the vlog, frankly. Um, we're out of time. But I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.